We join the Super Legit crew before the show as Jet does his regular check-in with the guest. I ask this question of every guest, and yeah. the answer is almost always no. But okay, have you right. happened to listen to any episodes of the show? Not a bit. Great, perfect. You're right, I right meant in there to on the ride home tonight, and I did not remember. Instead, I listened to Dave Matthews Band Under the Table and Dream. Yes! Oh, that's <laughs> yes, that's a great album. Absolutely. Satin with like the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. that'll prepare you actually better than listening to the podcast. Really? Okay, good. Yeah. We do a lot of violence. Shibba dabba sambay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no. So I'll walk you real quick through through the format. Um, Great. it's just it's a living room into scenes. Great. So okay. the question that uh that Michael Hyman will pose near the top of the show, he'll throw that to you first. Okay. Um, but in general, no it's it's going to be. Oh my open. god! I just got so excited. I didn't know you were going to get to improvise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, you thought we were just going to yes. talk about improvising? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I was like, are we right. on a Dungeons and Dragons yes. thing? Like, what's about to happen? If this was a regular be. podcast, there wouldn't be a woman. We also on it. play Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, I wish. Yes, that's right. But talk uh, about the level of yes and right there. Dungeons and Dragons talking improv. Whatever, whatever. Let's go. It's the Super Legit Podcast Season 2. Hey, everybody. <laughs> I'm your host, Jet Kaufman, and I'm just going to get right into the amazing people that I have in the virtual room with me. We've got Josh Spence. Not going to argue about co-hosting anymore. Congratulations. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're so happy for your growth, Josh. Jen Burton. <laughs> I am going to start. I'm going to start uh, yeah. being a co-host nominator. All right. We'll see how that works out for you. It might work out really well. We'll find out. Chris Sanders. Hi, I'm the co-host. <laughs> God yes! damn it. Yes! I've already lost. Yes! Steven C. James. <laughs> uh, we're going full Friday Night Lights with season two. I'm getting shark DNA. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and my actual confirmed official co-host, Michael Hyman. Hello, Jet. I am also co-host. In... <laughs> you should read that like I'm Spartacus. As we've okay. all, we're all co-hosting now. We're all yeah. Spartacusing. Um, mm. I definitely did not get past the first season of Friday Night Lights. So thank you. Steve. Oh, man. Wasn't oh. 300 kind of Spartacusing? Very much so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a new uh, new verb. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Michael Hyman, who is our guest for our season premiere? Jet, our season premiere guest is Jillian Bellinger. She is an improviser, actor, writer, teacher, and super multi hyphenate. You can see her on screen on Disney, Hulu, and VH1. She co wrote Trump in Space, a staple of Second City Hollywood, and starred at Westside Comedy with one of their premier house teams, Lucy. Currently, you can hear her now as our new favorite guest. Hello, Jillian. Yay! Welcome. Yay! Yay! By the way, past guest. Hey, where did you get that bio? Because <laughs> um, if you could type that up for me, just send it to me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I got it from bio's excellent. the worst. I got it from my manager. Oh, great. Perfect. Uh, I think that the underlying great. theme of this podcast is going to be saying things that we wish we had written down. <laughs> yeah. Great. Uh, one thing I will say, the first time I went to West Side Comedy, the first show I ever saw there was Lucy. I, I thought that was such a great team, such a great show. Everybody on that team was fantastic. I uh, wish you guys were still doing it. Like That was, that was a real good time. Thank you. Um, I think uh, almost 90% of that team doesn't live in L.A. anymore. Yeah, <laughs> including yourself. <laughs> yeah, including, including yourself. yourself. That Very describes well. a lot of the improv teams we remember well. <laughs> yeah, it's fair. Uh, uh, I So, hey, everybody. Hi. <laughs> I'm Jillian, and I'm tuning in from Asheville, North Carolina. Woo! Still doing improv, though. Still living an improv dream. I actually wow. opened an improv training center here. Fantastic. Oh, that's You've been there for like five minutes. For hippies? And you Do you already... have like obstacles and stuff? Uh, yeah, we have a full ropes course. That's great. Um, that's great. And you have to tell puns <laughs> and do 185 as you make your way across. I gotta make it down. I, I think the greatest I... obstacle is being in the South. For having grown up in Texas, <laughs> that's, that's the biggest obstacle. That's not a bit. That is no. <laughs> <laughs> no. ongoing obstacle that I face regularly. Mm -hmm. on Instructor a daily basis. Jillian, you're really stringing me along. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'll 
also, how did you vote? <laughs> um, yes. So um, I I see that um, maybe there's a question I should be pondering in my life. Oh, is that yes? We'll, we'll, uh, we'll co-host, what do I, I got? I actually had a, a question I wanted to ask Jillian personally yeah. before we got oh. into the question question because Jillian, you what you said you started a training center. What is the scene improv scene like in Asheville, North Carolina? Not you know. A city that we generally think of when we think of major improv Yeah, scenes. fair. Yet. Oh. So what's it like? Uh, what is it like? Is there, yeah, is there so a theater? There is there a is, community? There is a community that's actually been here for a minute. Um, so pre-Pandy, there was a, a place <laughs> called uh, Asheville Improv Collective. Um, and they didn't survive the Pandy, which was sad. And... They really did cultivate um, a fair amount of improvisers. Um, So it kind of fractured the scene a bit. So there were teachers and no sort of centralized place that people were. Sounds familiar. Were improvising. And I think, so Asheville is just under 100,000. And when your population is 100,000, fracturing is hard. Because it's not the same as LA yeah. where it you have, you know, I don't know. Yeah. What like a dozen Billions improv of improvisers, theaters, but you have from. yeah, you have lots of lots of people and it doesn't matter. Everyone right. can have all of the students and still have all of the people. Um right. here it's a little bit more interesting because it, it sort of became kind of insular to improvisers improvising for each other, which we're all familiar with that as an idea. Even in LA. How, yeah. <laughs> but how do you like connect to like the dentist or like the accountant or like, you know, just somebody who's new to town and wants to make friends. And so that's kind of where we fit now. We're called Misfit and we're cool. we're the school for everybody. Congrats. That's kind of how I think of us. That's awesome. Huh. That is yeah. amazing. Love it. That's a good spot for you. You're a very welcoming improviser. Thank you. Yeah. I am fiercely, I am fiercely welcoming in maybe a militant way. <laughs> <laughs> Militantly you will welcoming. be welcomed. Yeah. I mean, kind of. I do also stand at the door. Also a perfect improv team, dude. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, that's, that is a good one. I stand at the door kind of like, I think of myself a little bit like a, like a pastor. Where I'm yes. like, welcome. It's so wonderful mm-hmm. you're here. Thank you so much for being here. And they're like, pr- it's probably very overwhelming, but I'm like, you're great. I'm, j- <laughs> what was your name? I'm so excited mm-hmm. you're here. Uh, and just sort of like, I'm desperately trying to tell them about the good initiation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm just trying to like build community. Like, yeah. I want it to matter to people. Beyond just, hey, that was funny. There's plenty of improvisers around that can do bits. It's like, I want to find that person who didn't have a place. And yeah. now they do. That's awesome. Hey, Michael. Uh, yes, Jeff. On for your wonderful personal question. Good good co-hosting right. there. Thank uh, you. What's, it took me 100 what's episodes the... to get it down, but I'm there. <laughs> Season two are coming in hot. I think, it's, <laughs> I think it's the whole thing is that you don't have the pressure now of somebody chasing at your heels trying to take your job. Now you I can just leave, guys. It's really not yeah. a big deal. It's fine. Like it's, fuck. It, I'm like a second term president. I don't care anymore. I can just yeah. like actually let loose. Yeah. Lame duck hymen. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, good for me, nickname. That's what they called me in middle school, unfortunately. Oh, no. <laughs> for the same reason or different reasons? It had to do with the duck hymen. Exact hymen. same reason. <laughs> yeah. So what's uh what's our big question for this week, Michael Hyman? This week, the question coming from a uh, listener, Ace Lincoln. Is uh, made up. <laughs> what's a piece of art that you've had for a long time, and what is its story? Love and, it, uh, Jillian. We'd love to have yeah. you uh, jump right in yeah. if you've got yeah. one to go. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, so let me take you back. Ooh. Let's just we're gonna go back. Story um, time. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> my mother uh grew up in Lexington, North Carolina, which is a very small town. Uh, and her father ran a grocery store before there were big grocery stores. Then, uh, I think it was the, like the, uh, Piggly Wiggly came into town and 
blasted him right out of business. So he turned his grocery store into a gas station convenience store that also did betting on the side. What? And he ran like bookie type yeah. stuff. Oh, betting. Um, I thought yeah, he betting. been betting yeah. like it no. was like a yeah. mattress yeah. firm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 That's how I heard it as yeah. well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I heard Sorry, hey, you t- want these 2000 thread couch sheets? I my, uh, my casualty from be- growing up in Texas is coming out. Betting. <laughs> the betting. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so he was a bookie. He, he was a bookie. Yeah, a- and also, you know, sold bottled Coke and where you like pop the, yeah. the cap on it and stuff. It had like wood. It's fuller. easier to pour yeah. it into lines when it's in a bottle. That's true. Yeah, bottled That's Coke, quick, quick. Dif- different, different kind of Coke. I think we're misunderstanding again, no. guys. Uh, yeah. Soft tea, guys. Uh, oh, Soft tea. oh, okay. Right. I mean, okay. <laughs> back in the day, it had Coke and Coke. Statue of limitations. Coke, so. That's fair. That's true. Um, right anyway. Here. He, there was a a transient sort of fella about town. Because, you know, small towns, especially in, like, the 50s, they were, like, places where characters could be. And people were down with that. So there was this fella. He was an an aroundabout sort of dude that struggled with alcoholism. And uh, he would come to my grandfather's store and you know, ask for food or Coke or the other kind of Coke or whatever. <laughs> or betting. And my grandfather would always ask him, he would say, I will give it to you if you trade me a painting. Because this Ooh. guy actually was a really talented artist. Wow. And so we have a really large painting in our house of my grandfather's gas station grocery store betting facility downstairs that this man painted and it there's a, like a lot of nostalgia to it and i think it's a sweet story and that's a great story it's that just is. of a different era too and it says like smith recreation center which is a very savvy way of saying gambling hall <laughs> 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 yeah so that we have that piece of art downstairs Super. I'd love, uh, I'd love some sheets. I'm sorry. I, I, I came in here expecting to, to like drop a, a few hundred bucks on a, like a craps or something, but is this literally just sheets? No, here? no, we get that all the time. Uh, see, it's, uh, uh, English is not my first language. Uh, uh it's a, uh, we sell toilets here. It's a shit store. <laughs> Uh, oh yes, uh, okay. all you could ever want in any toilets. Uh, we have uh, uh, chain flush. Uh, we have whirlpool. Whole section of bidets. Um, uh, we have a, a special from my home country of Andorra. Uh, we have a a uh, what we call a, a whirl flushy, uh, and what it does is it sprays the water in a small circle. Uh, a very small circle like my country, Andorra. Uh, and it, it cleans your backside in a way that will make you think of the Pyrenees Mountains of my home. I can't say I've ever thought of the Pyrenees Mountains, ever. Uh, I will now, out of curiosity, but that's... Well, sir, wow. please, uh, I, I invite you to take a, a, a test sit. Uh, let me make sure I'm saying that word correctly. I do not mean that you actually um, do any... I just rest yourself. Okay, you did say sit. Okay, yeah. good. I'm glad. I'm glad we're clarifying this right. Should I? Should I? Should I take off the pants though? Because I'm no, not sure. No, I gonna... would prefer okay. if you did not. We like to keep things very hygienic here. Okay. You see, sir, I want to be the welcoming presence for you. Now, huh. your bathroom is a private space, but this is a public space. That's why I stand at the door, and every one of my customers, I walk I, when they walk in, I look them in the eye, and I try to hold that eye contact. As though to say, I see you, so that you can be comfortable when no one else can see. You. Yeah, I, 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 I don't mean to tell you how to do your job, but the eye contact, uh, it actually made me feel uncomfortable. It was a oh. lot. I felt like I was talking to Michael Caine there for a minute. It was a I'm lot of so, eye contact. I'm, I'm so sorry. In, in my, in Andorra, we are a, a very present people. 
we don't have the screens and the distractions and the what mm. the Americans have. But in Andorra, we like to linger pupil to pupil. For as long as all right well i'm i'm just gonna i'm gonna go ahead and sit on this toy oh wow you're really not breaking the eye contact while i sit on this okay i'm sorry if you'd like i can um do something american like uh eat a piece of cheese that is wrapped in a single piece of plastic that will last forever or um uh let's see i can talk about how much i care about another person's rights but then uh, act against it as soon as you look away um how, how can I be of help? That, that, one, that one works for me. Yeah. Estradio, what are you doing? We're oh. all in the back. Uh, I'm so sorry. Sweetheart, come come here, come here. Oh, come here. I hello. To make... It's so nice to meet you. Oh, well, hello. The, I, I, this I, is I, my I... partner. Um, and I'm sorry, I did, I'm Estradio. Uh, and I'm this is my I, I'm partner. Ralph. I'm Ralph. This is uh, Nesesha. You have beautiful eyes. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, you have you have you un, un, unblinkingly beautiful eyes as well. I yes, thank uh, you for noticing. Oh, I I feel I feel so awkward meeting you from a toilet. Uh, this is not how I usually meet new people. <laughs> Don't feel awkward. <laughs> this is normal. <laughs> it's not every day. <laughs> the, the toilet is quite comfortable. You're right. I, oh, I didn't expect that. Did you see the remote control? Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh my gosh, no, I did That is a lot of buttons. Also, Lestario installed a gun holster on the side. For your peoples. <laughs> oh my yes. god, how American and, can you get? Well, uh, you see, let me brag about Necessia for just a bit here. She hand carves every single toilet in this store out of marble. Yes. And it is my job just to put little pieces of flair on them. See, um, here uh, is a, a, a blindfold that comes out of the back right next to the toilet rack so that way you can cover your eyes anytime something terrible happens on the news and you can pretend it won't affect you yes yes oh how thoughtful I, i've i've never i've never I, I i would say i've never been in a toilet store that that knew my culture so well but honestly i've never been in a, in a toilet mm -hmm. store before but i am i'm loving this i'm loving this experience yes we love sheets yes we love it <laughs> in fact oh n n necessia uh yeah um, may I, may I impose? I, I do not know if this, Ralph, was it, sir? I do yes. not know if this Ralph, uh, is going to buy a, a toilet from us, yeah. but I do know this. Mm -hmm. He made the same mistake that oftentimes people make. Mm -hmm. Can you go to the linen closet and get the spare sheets? Yes, and just, I will just, get you the sheets. You, he needs some sheets. Uh, these oh, are, wow. these are 400 thread count, uh, Egyptian cotton. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think you'll very much enjoy them. And hey, maybe you'll buy a toilet, maybe you don't. But when you pillow your head tonight, I know you will be thinking of us. Oh, thank you. I just... Oh, wow, these sheets are beautiful, but... Oh, God, they, they, they smell like shit. Mama, Papa, why do you give my sheets away? <laughs> Legit. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how we do it. That's how it's done. Yeah. Junior, oh. Junior has a problem. Junior has a problem. <laughs> Excellent. No, no. You're welcome. No, no. Good job. I think I'm going to be giggling about that line for a while. <laughs> so, uh, a question to the question. What no. Qu New season. No more of that shit. <laughs> Just okay, answer, Josh. No, I want, okay. I want them. I want clarification. I know. It. I know. Jet, you love it. I do. I do. I love this. <laughs> If Go it's a problem, I, I won't ask the no, question. No, it's not. It's, I want to hear not. the question. Ask the question. <laughs> ask it. What defines art? Oh, my God. Oh, Holy no. Oh, yeah. no, oh, Jack, you no. have to take okay. that back. No, don't okay. want it anymore. So, so here, okay. What here, is here, art? Here. The, the biggest philosophical question of all time. Here's after, why. After okay. what is life. Here's so, why. Hold on. <laughs> okay. No, no. I'm going to I'm gonna shorthand it for him. Because I'm going to make this simple before it gets too big. Thank you, Steve. This is something that when somebody walks in your house, they can see it, and it's somebody else's creative expression. Done for the purposes of this question. Wow, That's very good. Yeah, okay, well done. so can you answer the meaning of life too while you're at it? No, yes, so it's to it. love and to be loved. Oh, oh. there it is. Oh, that's nice. Legit. Somebody else do a story. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have I have a piece of art I could talk about. Oh, right. um, that's related to the last scene. In oh, that it, is it shit shit. 
sheets. Is this shitty sheets? Shit, sheets. <laughs> shitty Damn, sheets. Jen. I've hung it's them on my wall. Sheets. I found it's them on the street. 400 yeah, thread count. Jen Burton. <laughs> um, yep. No, actually, it's no. horrible. It's, no, it's pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's a print of a, it's a handmade piece of art from my brother in law of a dung beetle. Um, oh. And it's like painted <laughs> right. and layered and it has all these like things about it. And really, the truth is, is that I actually have a bunch of dung beetle art from him specifically, which he gives really? me every Christmas. Now, that sounds passive aggressive when I say it. Out loud. Isn't the balls of sheet that dung beetles roll art in itself? Art? Yes. They're round. They are an expression of creativity. Yeah. yeah. But it stems from oh, wow. the history behind this is that one time we were all home for Christmas and um, one of my nieces wanted to know about dung beetles because she had heard that dung beetles rolled poop. And gotcha. then my stepbrother sang this song. That we all thought was hilarious, and my nieces sang pretty much nonstop for like a full year. Yeah. And this is the song. Um, oh, I'm so already. Here so we happy. go. It goes, "I am a dung beetle, a shiny black dung beetle, walking with my front legs, pushing poo poo with my back." legs dung beetle a great song obviously and this that's, was literally that's this a new song new i think that's song. from the b52s yeah are we gonna get in trouble with lars ulrich for that pushing poo poo with my back legs <laughs> it only has one note yeah, and it's yeah. not even really a song but really what it did was it it opened up a portal to hell in which we <laughs> all had to hear that song nonstop from toddlers for a full, a full, I mean, yeah. probably for longer. It went on and on wow. and on. At any rate, and now he sends me dung beetle art every Christmas. I have, because a, we I have a question laughing. about that. Yeah. Yes. So is he an artist in general? Yes. And he teaches art at my old high school. Okay. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Okay, so there's at least like some skill to the dung beetle art. No. It, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that no was so like, fast. I know. A hand so scrawl wow. doodle from somebody who hates me. So he's, he's sending like, you his reject art? <laughs> yeah. No, I, so they're really, I can, some of them I can are really see good. You seeing this, Jen Burton, and this is no benefit to the listeners, but can you? tilt your camera so that we can yes, see it please. i see you i gotta over. get up and get it it's literally and in the I other want, room i can go get it yeah no, I, we it. can no. edit the silence out okay i want right to see back. this so bad you're gonna be disappointed because it's not black but that oh can you that's see so that? cool and oh, what that. you can't tell is that it's like layered pieces of paper oh. and so it's like, like a mosaic kind of it's thing? kind of like a mosaic this collage truly is yeah. not Get, doing Holy it justice. Nice. Yeah, you that gotta send us cool. a photo of that. Jen, is so we can the put that uh, the new logo? Oh, is the yeah. superhero awesome. the DC superhero Blue Beetle? Is Blue that Beetle. a dung yeah. beetle? He's not a dung beetle. In my mind, I don't know. Scarab. He scarab. calls it a scarab, but it's a very, very, it's dung-y. very beetle-y. Dungian. Beetle? I believe yes, in I would the call same it dungian. Family yeah. of insects, scarab beetles and dung beetles. I'm almost yeah. positive. I mean, you know, beetles. I mean, they. Which and I do believe scarab beetles are. Also, scavengers in that they mm. eat, eat flesh and, and try to. So, yeah. yeah. Mm. Anyway, Cheery. did you learn that Perfect. from The Mummy? Uh, Starring Brendan Fraser? I mean, he, and Rachel Vest. Yes, of course. <laughs> okay. um, because I am a researcher. Um, <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. A, re- a researcher of Egyptology and antiquities? Oh, uh, <laughs> y- yes, indeed. <laughs> yes, I am. Uh, Good. <laughs> 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 Super students, um, I uh, ooh, <laughs> um, I've got a confession to make. Uh, I'm your professor and everything, but I just have to admit everything I learned about archaeology, I learned from Harrison Ford and Brendan Fraser films. <laughs> um, what? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. Did you say Harrison Ford in Brendan Fraser films or? Harrison Ford and Brendan Fraser. That was going to be my question, yeah. No, that would be a movie I'd love to see. Like, school ties and cowboys no, and aliens, wait, but... No, no, no way, Teach. You can't, you can't, th- there's no way. Because I've been, I've been performing you, what you've told us is, is reality, and, and I've been recreating what you say is real. Like, watch the sound it makes when I punch people. 
Ah. Yeah. See, it sounds like spaghetti wrapped up in newspaper being broken over a knee. I just have a quick question as a Gen Zer. Who's Harrison Ford and Brendan <laughs> Fraser? Okay. Um, that was gonna be my remember? Question too. Oh my uh, yes. what? Okay. okay, I can I'll, I can feel this one. Remember the movie that you were protesting for its abhorrent representation of people of size last year, The Whale? Uh-huh. The guy that starred in that is Brendan Fraser. Oh. Right? Yeah, yeah. And uh remember how your grandfather was oh. really upset? Because they killed a guy in a space movie a couple years back. That's Harrison Ford. Oh yeah, that's what he was complaining about. Um, so th- that's who they are, and and they they starred both of them in, in some movies where they were adventurers. And I thought I'd be an adventurer too, and it really seemed like step one was you know teaching a class to a bunch of wide-eyed students, and then I'd go out and have adventure. But all I've really done is started having a bit of a drinking problem uh, as I wonder how I'm going to get tenure. Uh, and then, you know, trying to hit on grad students was just feels really sad at this point. So, um, so I have been digging a hole in my backyard for the last several months based on the information that you gave us about finding various biblical items under, under the ground. Is that, is that not accurate? Cause I've destroyed my family's, backyard well i wouldn't say it's inaccurate because they as far as i know um from the films that i've watched there could still be a biblical septic tank of some sort in your backyard so i did hit a sewage line so that would that would track and then there could be something in the sewage that leads you to the Constitution. I've also watched the Nicolas Cage film. I was well, just so about far. to ask that, Mr. James, because you, you were telling us uh, about the, all the stuff written on the back of the Constitution and all the ways that it was hidden. That's all true, correct? Well, from what I know, from my extensive research time when I was studying in the basement of the Alamo, yes, that is true. I, I just have another question. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, should we keep calling you doctor? Yes, but you have to say it with that inflection. Doctor? Exactly. There, you got it correct. That's okay, it. doctor? Doctor, mm-hmm. teach... Wait, wait, I I went on adventures with you. Don't you remember the time that we found the Temple of Doom? Teach, this is the bar at Applebee's. And there's no shittier bar in all of the city. I was puking Appletinis for a long time. Uh, I was really hoping uh, to discover that bartender's number, but um, they would not give it to me. I have a question. Can mm-hmm. I erase, um, can I remove the love you from my eyelids? Oh my God, I was going to ask the same Be- thing, Carolyn. Because we, <laughs> all of the women in this class, you told us at the beginning to write love you love on our eyelids. You. With no expli- mm-hmm. it, no I did explanation. It too. I, I, I didn't know if it was only the women who were allowed to do it, so I just Mine went for it. Mine ran, and I, uh, now I just look like I have streaky eyelids. Also, I've been propositioned inappropriately by people I see in the hall. Well, maybe you shouldn't nap in the hallway. I mean, yeah. I don't mean to victim blame here. Scary. And let me also say, uh, it is gender blind. I am a modern professor. I'm not some old fogey like Professor Jones or Professor Brendan Fraser's character name. So if you guys want to write your eyelid names love on there, you can feel free. Um, Doctor? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so one more question. Um, could you uh, just, you know, for Caroline and I, is it possible for you to stop prompting us to scream when things happen um, as sort of an emotional reaction? I mean, we, we don't really need to scream we just we're it, here like everybody else it, it is true that you can go ahead and stop that i will also say i will stop bringing all of the bugs that i find in my apartment so many bugs and tossing them out um and you know what i will also say that time i brought you snacks now feels a bit racist i'm gonna say that i'm gonna be i'm gonna be honest it feels a bit culturally insensitive um just, just i i was making like general? the you mean what, the poisoned that? dates you brought? No, 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 no. Oh, those weren't poisoned. They had Do just been out for a long brain? time. monkey brain? Yes, it was indeed <laughs> the monkey brain. Yes, it was the monkey brain. I, I apologize for that. And you know what else? I would also like to apologize to my neighbor, who still has those um, uh, reward-if-found posters for his capuchin. 
Yeah, that kid's dead. From the prions. Legit. So, um, Legit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to remember it literally. <laughs> I think Doctor? there's like five people who understood Would the prion you? reference. In the- no, no, no. I, I, I know the mad cow. I know you can't get Full the prions. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's why I got real quiet. It just made me real sad. <laughs> <laughs> it just made me real sad. It is, it is time for our ad break, isn't it, sure Michael is. Hyman? It sure is, uh, actually. Yes. You're correct, Jet. Well, let's, uh, let's hear who our sponsor is for this week's episode. Uh, we do have an ad, and I have it. Uh, and here it is. Hey folks, have you ever, you know what, I don't want to say, I don't want you to know. <laughs> no, really, uh, this is supposed to be an ad about a product, but this is making me uncomfortable. I, do you think capitalism has gone too far? Do you think that maybe we are trying to sell things to people to solve problems they don't have? You know, I, this is just a hint, but listen. I saw Joaquin Phoenix in a movie, and my eyes got open. So listen, this product, this ad, this isn't for anything. This is I don't want to say. And you know what? Just look away. Look away. Don't look at this. Please look away. This ad doesn't exist. You, What you want? Listen, go outside, sheeple. Just look at the sun. That'll help you so much. Just go outside and look at the sun and touch some grass and save your money. You can't, wow. you can't see me nodding, but you can hear it emphatically. <laughs> <laughs> Whoosh. Whoosh. Oh, boy. Whoosh. Wow. Um, and they, they paid for that, that uh, spot on the podcast. They did. Um, yes. it's, it's clear the uh, uh, actor, if we can call it that, was going through something. Uh-huh. Um, uh-huh. All right. And, and I identify with that. Well, as long as the check cleared, I, I really have no complaints. It definitely did not. It bounced hard. Oh, oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. So the old, the uh, the season one policy of as long as the check clears has has been uh, rescinded. Uh, I have one. I have uh, a piece of oh. art. Um, oh, sweet. So uh, I when I moved wow. to California in 1999. <laughs> oh, sorry, um, Steven. I thought you meant ad. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't have an ad. No, 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 no. I know. Uh, that involves focus and writing, um, uh, which when there's a nine-year-old in your house, that does not happen a lot. Uh, but I do have a, a story about a piece of art. So in 99, when I moved here, um, I got a job waiting tables, uh, and it was hell. It was shitty. It was awful. And I had no money. I had like exactly enough money to pay for the things I needed to survive, and there was nothing extra. And then I got the real job, uh, the job that technically I still have right now. Um, and suddenly Pays I had grown up money. Right? Yeah, like I had money. all the money because uh, I'm, I'm a school teacher, yeah. uh, which we all know Regular. those fucking fat cats. Um, <laughs> so suddenly right. at 23, I was making the money that an adult makes. Um, and I was like, woohoo. Um, and so I bought this piece of art that was a poster. It was a poster. Uh, that cost me like 25 bucks, but then I got it framed. Um, and the framing cost like 120 bucks, but I was like, I can actually afford this. And it still hangs up in my house. Uh, and it's like the first thing I bought with my grown up money. And it's the only thing that has traveled with me to every place that I've lived over the past, mm. um, you know, uh, I, I do the math 25 years, uh, no more than 25 years. Holy shit. It's going to be, uh, nope. Oh, yep, yeah, 99. I'm bad at math. Years. 25 years. There we go. Yep. The 25 years uh, that I've lived in Los Angeles. And it's the only thing that I've like hung up every single place I've lived. You know, even when I was living with other people, it's the only thing that I insisted go up. And it's uh, a piece, uh, it's a Magritte piece uh, called La Grande Familia, I believe. I'm not sure. I don't speak French. Uh, but it's this, uh, uh, to describe the image, because it's surrealist, uh, it's like there's a cloudy sky. Um, in stormy water, but there's this silhouette of a bird. And when you look at the bird, it's actually like a beautiful day in the shape of a bird that's superimposed on top of this stormy sky. And that's sort of like, I think, a metaphor for life and existence and all that stuff where it's like <clears throat> you look and you see the storm clouds, but there is like beauty on the wing. Just just if you wait for it, just if you look in the right spot. <laughs> 
Hi, Magritte. Um, I don't mean to complain. I know that you are a fantastic artist, but uh, you did say that, um, I mean, we asked for a portrait of our family, of La Familia, and um, what I see is a bird, and um, I don't see my son anywhere, my daughter, my husband, uh, you know, any of us, none of us are in your painting. So I'm just confused about what we're paying for here. I, I, I wanted to represent my vision of your family. Okay, because we paid for a portrait, uh -huh. and I'm not a bird. Okay. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I don't mean to complain. I am very happy to have him agree. But are you sure? Am I sure I'm not a bird? Yes. <laughs> I mean, obviously, you know, I'm pretty sure we live a long time ago, so maybe there's not mirrors. I don't know. Uh, mm. But, uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm not a bird. Ah, yes, Wait a minute. Yes. Am I a bird? <laughs> <laughs> See, that is not for, for me to say, but it is for me to impress upon the canvas. You see what I'm saying here? I mean, I feel like what you're saying is that I'm a bird, and I don't know I'm a bird. Look, I'm really sorry that happened to you with Magritte. I mean, he, him and I used to work together. He's horrible, but your buddy here, you greet. I'm going to do this great family oil uh, portrait for you. It's going to be fantastic. That's great. I mean, I'll be honest. Having a yugri is not as impressive to my other wealthy friends as having Understandable, a Understandable, so. Yeah, I know. But as long as you don't try to convince me I am a bird, then I will be, I mean, I guess I will be happy with with that, because I actually had to go into an institution for a while. I believed I was a bird based on what he said. Sure. I, no, no, it's not like you have a beak at all. I, I, would, I would never say that. But like when I do the full portrait, like the hollow legs will be very prominent in, in the hollow lower half. legs. Yeah. Wait so a minute. You, that's how you fly with the hollow leg. That's okay, first that's of all, not... birds do not have hollow legs. They have, Are you they telling totally me have that I have legs. hollow legs? Because that's not even a bird. I don't Are even you, know what that is. Are you telling Do me I that have you don't legs have hollow legs? And I don't what know that I, I have hollow you? legs? What's my inspiration then? If you don't have hollow legs and lay eggs, what are we talking about? I lay eggs. I make eggs. I was admiring your new painting. I almost thought this was a Magritte, but then I realized it's a Magritte, isn't it? It, it is a Yagrit. Um, uh, Yagrit is an up-and-coming artist. He's, I he, know all about who Yagrit is. Oh. That's why I thought I'd insult you. <laughs> well, Colonel, I don't... Well, I mean, I guess it's... I guess it's understandable. You know, someone of your es Please esteem... Please address me by my proper title, Colonel Booby. I am a blue-footed booby. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm I'm just adjusting to to being in the bird community now. Yeah, it's, I only it's recently a found tight out knit I was community. a bird. So, yes, we are a tight flock. Well, Colonel Booby, um, I'm sorry you don't enjoy my Ugreet. Um, I've tried to decorate my nest as best I can. Being, I mean, for a long time I thought I was a human. I only recently found out I had hollow legs. I yes, didn't even I know was what about to ask, how are you handling your your legs that you have just recently discovered are hollow? It's well, it's how it works for all of us. We think that we have solid foundation, and there's nothing there. I I I mean to be honest, I I mean for a long time I thought I had regular full legs, and now mm. I have these hollow legs. I don't know how to tell you this, <laughs> but your life insurance policy is void. We didn't know about the legs. You can't void this life insurance policy. I'm so sorry. I don't know what to tell you. When I wrote this initial policy, I had no idea of your avian history. I didn't know about my avian history either, nor did I know of my hollow legs. But I presume that you saw me in person when I signed the document. And if something happens to me, my children will be left with nothing because my husband left me after he found out I was a bird with hollow legs. Honestly. So now it's just me. If I'm in an accident. I thought the feathers were a fashion decision. Feathers? <laughs> I really thought these were arms. For the, I didn't, I mean, I guess you're right. I'm a bird. I've been told I'm a bird. I'm a bird. I'm a bird. I have hollow legs and now I have feathers. It wasn't a fashion decision. Bird, huh? I'm a dung beetle. I walk on my front legs. I roll a ball of doo-doo with my back legs. I'm a dung beetle. It's very nice to meet you, Mr. Beetle. Um, I didn't. Yeah. We, 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 we only got maybe about 30 seconds left so uh, before the bell rings, so 
So, uh, 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 what kind of legs you got? Uh, mine are, mine's like an exoskeleton, so they're, they're kind of, you might say hollow. You have hollow legs, too. Is it oh. possible that I am part bird, part dung beetle? Could that be a thing? Could I be a dung bird? Uh, I suppose it could be. Um, <laughs> Move to the next oh. table! Oh. It was very, <laughs> I'm going to mark you as a guest, just yeah, so you I'm, know. Uh, I'm going to roll this ball for you. I got to move to the next table, but I have my eye on you. Hi, I'm a velociraptor. Uh, uh, I've been awfully lonely for several million years. I enjoy the films of Chris Pratt. Um, what about you? Here I go, me, me, me. I, I, I also enjoy Chris Pratt. Uh, he's he's wonderful. I I. I'll be honest, I didn't expect to be single at this age. Um, I I used to be married to a human man, and uh, I thought I was a human. And um, Uh, I didn't didn't expect to ever... Oh, I'm going to say something that's possibly very offensive, but I thought your kind was extinct. No! Uh, No, we've just evolved into various types of birds, uh, many of whom have have gone into uh, hiding, uh, pretending to be humans. I spent a long time as Rupert Murdoch. Oh, I see the resemblance. <laughs> mm-hmm. I see it now along the along your scale uh, it's, line. It's called a nose ridge. Yes. Oh, yes, it's very prominent. <laughs> next table. Well, I'm marking you as a yes. <laughs> uh, I'm going to think about it. <laughs> Avoid asteroids. <laughs> <laughs> Legit. <laughs> 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 uh, if you click on that link, Google will tell uh, you the truth. Uh, now, Thanks. now we'll never know with that legit call. We'll never know if that was a bird or if that was Ric Flair. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, uh, it's funny, and as I was thinking about this, like, oh, there's like a bunch of pieces of art that were like in my parents' house for a long time, but there's one thing that I literally stole from my dad <laughs> when, uh, yeah. <laughs> After after I'd been living in my apartment for 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 like a year or so, and after my mom passed, like my dad was like fully moving up to Oregon with his sisters. We were like packing all this stuff up, and there was this like piece of art that I was like, you know what? I don't want him to take this. I want it right now, and he will not notice because uh, my dad has a memory problem, so he really won't never notice. Um, and it's hanging. I just shared a link. It's not the actual thing, but it's like it's of that image, and but it's wood. It's like a painted. No like giant piece of wood and takes up like an entire wall of and it's marlena dietrich from uh darblaua angel the the blue Ooh. angel and it's like this real like i i i don't even know where my dad got it how long it but i've had it in my apartment for a long time it's like right in front of my dining table you know in my living room and that's something i've had forever uh and i really love it you know it's like it says darblaua angel it's in german it's made of wood um it's really cool that's, that's uh that's cool. my thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a real okay. neat photo. Uh, are you a fan of Marlena Dietrich? I'm not really, but like something about it, because it, it was in my parents' house like for my whole life. And you know, uh most of our family, my dad and my my mom's side of family is all German, Austrian, Hungarian, and then my dad's father's side is all that. So like like the the German of it was something that I just like really liked. You know, that it wasn't German, not English, and like, you know, the thing about it that it really that I really was, I mean, attached to my whole life and wanted to keep uh, mm-hmm. and take from my dad without him ever noticing. <laughs> I think something really funny about the Wikipedia image that you shared is at the bottom, there's a caption. So mm-hmm. she's got her <laughs> leg up at the bottom. It says her reclining position was one leg elevated, was selected after a dozen oh. other attitudes were tested and discarded. <laughs> <laughs> A poor Marlena Dietrich was just like, hey, what about yeah. this one? No. No? No. What about this Hand, one? No. Hand, hands on head, hand on knee, like, <laughs> no, 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 no. One boob? Yeah. Each of no. these under a, under a Petri dish with the a microscope elbow? on them as yeah. they tested each each position. Mm-hmm. Yes. Discard it. <laughs> yep. No good. That's, that's really how Hollywood was at the time, though. She was hideous yep. in all except for that position. <laughs> that one. And that's, that's why it was not discarded. 
Jet, we're gonna have to include some links or something to images in this yes. uh, episode. Yes. No, I'm uh, gonna, a very no, visual uh, uh, centered episode. For yeah, the our question audio was about podcast. visual art. Yes. Yeah. Anybody got any art that lives rent free in their brain? Uh, every song by Bare Naked Ladies. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, okay, I'll, I'll share the story because uh, Jet didn't get the message I sent him. Uh, um, no, I didn't. <laughs> my father had a bar in th- his house. Forever, as long as I lived with a man. And uh, it was always like sports memorabilia and, and like neon light bar signs and a whole bunch of fun stuff. Except there was one red wood sign that w- look, it was just beat to shit and it said stud in with the words <laughs> reasonable on the bottom. And when we we're putting this bar together, because you know that's what fathers and sons do, assemble a bar. I asked, why do we have this one thing? And he said, I've held on to this since I was nine years old. And he was like, oh, wow, 40 something. At the-. And I said, what happened? So apparently him and his family, they were going across the country from like Chicago to California. And they stopped to visit relatives in South Dakota. And in South Dakota, I guess at one of the rest stops or something, there was a burnt down bar. And he was going through this burnt down bar and found this red sign that said stud in very little words at the bottom reasonable and he just kept it for the whole time his my grandparents would be like scooter you got to get rid of that uh, what are you gonna do all this stuff and he's like i'm gonna have a bar one day and it's gonna say stud in i'm gonna have the stud in when he's 40 we're putting this bar together he goes after all this time I finally have my stud in. I, I didn't get it at the time. And he's like, and one of these days when you move out from me, you will also have your stud in. And I was like, this is, I'm never owning this piece of, of wood. <laughs> and we, I moved out and years, you know, we didn't talk for a while because, you know, family's like that. And then we, we moved back in together and things are great. And then uh, I had a girlfriend. We decided to get a place for her own and you know we're moving this stuff into my own apartment and he gives me this one package and uh i opened it up and it was the stud in reasonable <laughs> and i and he goes put this in your room and your room will be the stud in i said i'm mm. never I, I, that's never going to happen <laughs> Also, I don't think and... my girlfriend would let me. <laughs> I have a question. Yeah. Was it spelled I N N? Yeah. S T U D D N. Double D on the stud. Interesting. Mm. Super studly. Stud and reasonable. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's, I don't have too many keepsakes, but I, I still have that god awful bar sign, and I cannot wait to give it to my kid. And scar him. That's beautiful. With, with memories and expectations, mm-hmm. it's gonna be love. Uh, that's a hell of a birthright burden, uh, right? You know. No one wants to do a scene off that. Okay, cool. Let's wrap it up. <laughs> Good job, guys. <laughs> Super. I wanted to have a talk with you. Um, we've been talking a lot about moving in. I mean, I know I seem like I was really into the idea but my friends have pointed out that i mean there's some warning signs will come along with living like what (laughs) um i mean the first thing they pointed out was well the sign that you have up in your apartment that says not good for you yeah (laughs) well i mean like it just seems like now that i think about it kind of obvious that like Maybe you're, I don't know, not good for me. Oh, no. That's a that's like a family heirloom. It's just passed around from generation to generation. Okay. All right. Okay. I, I see. I didn't know. And that's the yeah. I didn't know about Every your family. Every nerd bomb man receives <laughs> the sign that says mm-hmm. not good for you. It's applicable in a lot of ways. Son, the time has come. I'm going to put this sign above the candy jar so you know what this candy is good for. <laughs> Not me. Exactly. See, I had never met any nerd bombs or heard about the other nerd bombs. And I mean, here's here's a question then. 
so long as we're getting asked these questions, is there a story behind the fact that out in front of your house, you have two giant red flags that you fly? Yeah, there is a story. <laughs> <laughs> Those flags are heirlooms. Okay. All right. um, is it another nerd bomb heirloom? Or from your other side of the family, the it's Wiggle It's from the Mears. other side of the family, the your, Earnhardt. The oh, the Earnhardt's. Okay. Yeah. Which was actually my mother's stepfather's side. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Which is why it wasn't the name that you said a oh, minute wait. ago. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. Are you related to Dale Earnhardt? Yes. Is that what the red flag comes from? Yep. Each flag is oh. a racing flag. One oh. flag is the flag for stop you mm -hmm. did it you've won the race and the other flag is oh no you won the race of life yeah and it's also I, I, stop mm -hmm. i get what you're saying yep oh my god see i because he passed that's away. the thing you know my friends they just got in my head and i just gotta ask these questions but okay could I so ask can i ask you about go. Oh, yes yes go ahead you, go no ahead. you go okay i okay. i wanted to ask too what? I, I didn't know. <laughs> this is so no, us. No, no. This is so us. <laughs> this is so us. Um, one of the other things they pointed out was the picture of you no. being married to another person. Yeah, well, I was. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Oh, did um, you want more information about that? Sure. Yeah. Is it still going? Because it's still <laughs> up. Most people take those down. I looked really good that day. You did like a, like a handsome little James Bond. Yeah, I worked hard. I actually tra I did the Tom Cruise training diet. You know that explains those pictures of you running in dangerous situations. Yeah, I just ran in the other room. Okay, that's really yeah. what the diet is. It's a lot of yeah. running. Yeah, yeah. And then I've heard just it. slamming protein. Mm -hmm. Just lot lots of blade arms when you're running. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank oh, you so much. Is it my turn? I was Oh, no, no go ahead, go ahead. Oh, no, did yeah. you want to talk about your feelings? Go. No, 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 no. <laughs> if there's anything I've learned, we can talk Don't about talk about later. your feelings? Yeah. Okay. Go, go ahead. Oh, I was just wondering why you're wearing a shirt that says I want to break up with you. Oh, this old thing? <laughs> oh, um, I won this at a raffle on the way here. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, that's why I was late. I stopped at a raffle. One of the things you're going to learn about me being my live-in partner is that I cannot say no to a raffle. If I've got a chance to put in a dollar for a ticket, I am in it. It doesn't matter if it's for ice cream or, or if it's a free hammer yeah. or I'm in it. Step right up. Uh, if you'd like some raffle tickets on the uh, the breakup raffle, we've got so many great prizes oh. here that you can use to break up with your your, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, uh, your non-binary friend, whatever you want. Okay, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and... Um, hey, hon, do you, have a, do you have any singles on you? Yeah, I got a... Uh, uh, oh. Yeah, sorry. I didn't... I brought my wife. <laughs> oh, my I'm gosh! Sorry, I know this is awkward. <laughs> no! I mean, I've just... I've been staring at your picture so long. Uh, it's nice to finally meet you. It's nice to meet hey. you, too. Yeah. Um, you know what? I'm going to want a whole roll of tickets. Let me get $10. Worth. I walk on my front legs and I roll my dump. Hey. Oh, my God. This is so embarrassing. Hey, wait a minute. You... I thought... <laughs> I just met you at speed dating, and you... You were just getting used to those hollow legs, and you were already, um... Looks like you're in a I've relationship. I've already... I, I am in a new... I actually am married now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> to this lovely um, person. <clears throat> I mean, you technically, know what? we've been married. I just left her. It's, oh, it's oh, an awkward it, situation. It is the breakup. Yeah, I, I was gonna I was gonna break up with my... Uh, I need it to... Ev every ro ball of dung I make, I gotta break up with it. I form an intimate relationship. Uh, that's why I was here. But, wow, um, that's a lot of shirts. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I put a little shirt on each ball of dung. It's pretty cute. Oh, that's adorable. Man, I really miss... I'm so sorry that I never met you for a date. I really think this would have worked out. I mean, we both have hollow legs. I mean, who knows what that would have sounded like. Hey, could yeah. we get another roll of tickets? It looks like something's about to happen here. Yeah, yeah I got I you need, right here. I need Thank a bunch of so tickets much. myself. Um, <laughs> I mean, I roll all day, every day, so... Uh, yeah, I hope you don't run out of tickets, boss. Oh, there's always plenty here. We got you covered. 
So when is this raffle happening? Because I thought you were like imminently about to pull a number. Um, I know. I mean, uh, at this point, I, honestly, I keep the raffle open as long as people are buying the tickets. Do we have <laughs> so to be just keep the money coming? To win? Um, or can is, like do we write our numbers on the back? You, you want to write your number on the back of the ticket? Oh my god, not like that! Clearly, I'm in a relationship with someone who's previously married to a person who then had a brief relationship with a dung beetle. Can't you read the signs? This is also a little offensive to folks with hollow legs. It's, uh, don't have a way to actually grasp a writing utensil. My apologies. Uh, the, 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 uh, uh, diversity training that we went through did not cover me for every scenario, and sometimes I really step in that shit. I'm wondering if we can custom make our own winning shirt. For example, I no longer want to be your wife and I am interested in going on a second date with a dung beetle, is that something I can have? No, people make that mistake all the time. <laughs> we sell toilets here, not shirts. Not shirts. We sell, <laughs> we sell toilets here. It's, it's not shirts. It's a common Legit. mistake. Legit. <laughs> Legit. <laughs> oh, and that's how we wrap up an episode. Sure is. Uh, sure Michael is, Hyman, what you got for us? Thank you, as always, to Matt Walker for our intro and outro music. This episode was hosted and edited by Jet Kaufman, edited by Chris Sanders, and co-hosted by me, Michael Hyman. Every scene you heard today was improvised on the spot, along with some of the ads, with only a light touch of editing for your comfort. If you're loving what we're doing, pause real quick, stop pushing that uh, dung beetle-sized mound of poo, and write a five-star <laughs> review before you close the app, and tell your friends about us. Tonight's regular cast included... Josh Best, Jen Burton, Chris Sanders, Stephen C. James, and our very special guest, Jillian Bellinger. Jillian, Woo! do you uh, want to share places people can follow you, find you uh, on social media, stalk you, perhaps find your budding improv theater? Woo! Oh, yeah. Um, you could go to at Jillian Bellinger on the Instagram. And I will just let everyone know, because it's not obvious in America anyway, that Jillian oh. starts with a G. Ah, uh, Ooh, mm-hmm. yes. Yep, it's a it's a silent yet audible G, and like GIF. <laughs> Don't start this battle, Michael Hyman. <laughs> like, yes. like that. Uh, or you could look up Misfit <laughs> ABL, which is the abbreviation for Asheville. Misfit ABL mm-hmm. on Instagram. Great. Uh, all right. Well, thank you. Thank you all for joining me on the season premiere, season two premiere of the Super Legit Podcast. Season two. Brr, 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 brr. Woo! Brr, 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 brr. Two for twice is good. Uh, yes. Hey, Jet. Yeah. What's up, Josh? I just I just wanted to tell you that you're the McGree to my degree. Thank you, buddy. And, and you are the bird to my dung beetle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe anything's on Oh my time I kick the door on its hinges just so I can move Wait, which one of us invited Jillian onto the show? Well, combo I think it was a conversation between Jen okay. and Jillian. I was like, I've always been a fan of hers. Let's have her on. And then she was like, yeah, let's do this. And then it was like that. Was it a combo platter, Jen, or was it a, a poo-poo platter? I mean, oh. a.k.a. a dung platter. Well, um, that person should know that Jillian really likes them because she came in knowing nothing and was like, yes. yep, I'll do it. Yeah. Great. <laughs> yep. You Maybe invited me. I'm gonna be there. This is gonna be awesome. Yeah, I mean, that was some that was some faith. Thank you went, for that. It was on Jen Burton's Facebook page yeah. by accident. Uh, <laughs> but I was very excited to I I mean that's not an untrue statement. Mm-hmm. Is yeah. that mm-hmm. if you know Yeah, if Jen Burton's there, if 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 Jen's doing it, it must be good. What? She's the Jeffrey Wright of hanging out. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, Jen's the best. This is fact. You have I died and gone to heaven?
Um, my <laughs> you have died and gone to the loudest apartment in the world, apparently. I hate my apartment yes. so much. I really had, for the last three weeks, the people upstairs have been on vacation, and I convinced myself that they had moved, and I was so excited. And then last mm. night at 10.30 p.m., they rolled back in after three weeks gone, and I was like, this is... And they've, of course, all day they made up been for like, time, yeah. right? yes, yeah. they're like, let's turn well, on everything at 100% and then just start hammering directly overhead where you're recording a podcast. And then the ice cream truck that shows up at 930 on Friday night that's a or weird Saturday time. night. Yeah. It's because yeah. it's Koreatown. Koreatown, uh, every time God. I'm like, it's Koreatown, I think of Forget what's it, his face it's going. Koreatown. That's exactly <laughs> the line. I think of. That is what I think of. I, that's what I say to myself. I say, forget it, Jen. It's Koreatown. Mm-hmm. Anytime I have a complaint. 